So we've created our global rules, now it's time to make our clock rules, so let's have a look here. So again, by default you won't have any clock rules in here, but uh, here's one I made a little earlier. And uh, I did that by going there to create new rules, I set a reference and a title, and then I was presented with this screen here. So these are our clock rules. So let's move that one in here and have a closer look at uh, what we've got going on. Here's our uh, reference and our description, just like in the global rules. So clock rules are used to either, you can have a default one that's assigned to every clock, or you can make specific rules up for specific clocks to tailor your output to a certain style, certain, uh, well, just make it up of a variety of different categories and just change the uh, the feeling of the show. It might be that Sunday mornings you want a little bit slower uh, than you do for the rest of the week, that kind of thing. So uh, these are our default, this is our default uh, clock rule that we're making up here. And uh, we have over the left hand side, the clocks, types, categories, types, genders, eras, characteristics and style rules. So these are all the things that we can set here in our clock rules. And so into song categories, and it lists all of our categories here that we've got and tells you in brackets how many songs are in each category. So again, uh, very useful just to be able to quickly see what you've got. And then you add a weighting. Now the weighting um, can be, you could treat it like a percentage. It isn't. Uh, but you could treat it like a percentage, so you could make sure that everything that you have there adds up to 100, and that will give you an idea. Or you can just type in uh, the same, and you see this little pie chart down here. That gives you a sort of a, a visual representation of uh, of how many songs and the kind of the the number of them, the makeup in your clock of each category, and that's why the color coding comes in useful. So here we've got a weighting of 10 for each of our categories. So what we might actually want to do is we want the A-list to uh, have more songs in our hour from the A-list. So we're just going to change that to be 20. So we just double click in the weighting and we change that to be 20. And you can now see that it sort of makes up half of this pie chart. So half of the songs in our clock will be from the A list and then B list. And then we're, we're actually going to make this one seven. And so we have slightly less from the C list. So A list, B list and C list. Now we have a minimum and a maximum. So like it says at the top here, the minimum and maximum are how many in a row, not how many per hour. So it may be that uh, you don't want more than one of uh, your C list songs in a row. So, and then the rest I'm okay with. So you've got min, max, and then you've got separation. And uh, this is how many songs you would like between that song, uh, a song in that category. So again, if you've got the C list here, we only want one of them in a row. And then we want a separation of at least, um, at least one song. Um, so we're going to be fine with that. I'm going to say don't want any separation there and uh, don't want any any separation there. Um, although, although, yeah, although we could say we could leave those on one and we could maybe up that to two. And then so that will make sure that uh, once it's reached the maximum, there will be a separation of at least one song between uh, an A-list song again. So you can set that for all of your categories. You can keep on going down and you could end up with a very colourful pie chart down at the bottom there. And so that's our song categories. Our link categories, you have the same. And again, it tells you the uh, number that you've got in each category. And uh, it just sets a default weighting here of 10, 1 and 30. So actually, we're not going to get uh, AutoTrack to select by uh, this waiting for what uh, jingles and links and sweepers and stuff we want because we're going to stick those directly in the clock and ask the clock to pick. What we do have to make sure though